Now that I've shown you guys my ingredients, I'm going to go over my macronutrients. My protein is the quinoa. My lipid is olive oil, which is not shown in pictures because it is in a different bottle. So it is locally sourced from the farmer's markets that we have here in the Dalles. And we didn't have the label for it, so I did not put it in there. My carbohydrate is potatoes. I'm going to go over the vitamins, the minerals, and the one photonutrient, which no idea how to say that. So for broccoli, my vitamins are A, C, and K. The minerals included are calcium, iron, and phosphorus. Uh, the photonutrient is sulforaphane, which is a powerful phytochemical, and research is starting to show it may help protect your body against cancer. For carrots, my vitamins are B, B6, and C. The minerals are potassium, calcium, and magnesium. And the photonutrient is polyacetylenous, which helps aid in the risk reduction of cancer, cardiovascular disease, due to the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties. My next one is onions, which have vitamins C, B6, B9, and the minerals are calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, copper, selenium, and choline. Choline. Um, my photonutrient is flavonoids, which helps reduce the risk of stomach and brain cancer in humans. Quinoa is my next one, which has vitamins B6, E, and B9. And the minerals are magnesium, phosphorus, copper, folate, iron, and manganese, and zinc. The photonutrient is quercetin, which helps with protection against heart disease and cancer. It also helps stabilize the cells that release his antihistamines in the body and thereby have anti-inflammatory and antihistamine effect. My last ingredient is potatoes, which has vitamin C, B6, B3. The minerals are potassium, iron, phosphorus, and magnesium, calcium, and zinc. The um, photonutrient I, I chose was potassium, which helps with maintaining normal levels of fluid inside our cells, helps muscles to contract and support normal blood pressure. I'm now going to go over the uh, health benefits that I hope to gain from this meal, which is broccoli is an excellent source of vitamin A, which helps with battling infections in the throat as I get strep throat a lot. Carrots are an excellent source of vitamin B, which helps with maintaining healthy skin cells, brain cells, and other body tissues, which is good because we all need healthy brain cells. Onions are a good source of vitamin C, which helps form, maintain, form and maintain skill, skin, <laughs> bones, and blood vessels which I need because everyone wants healthy skin and bones. Quinoa is a good source of vitamin E, which is a good source of antioxidants, which helps protect the immune system and may help prevent blood clots. I need this because I need to have a good immune system and so that I don't have any blood clots that could travel to my heart. Potatoes are a good source of vitamin B3, which helps with keeping your nervous system, digestive system, and skin healthy. All of these foods will help me towards my SMART goals because they help build up my immune system, help my muscles heal faster, and helps keep my nervous system healthy. Not only do all these nutrients do that, but they also keep the brain healthy. I need all of this to keep my body in shape that I can work out to the best of my ability without having to worry about hurting. These foods help with the healthy gut microbiome because they help my immune system which fights off the bad cells. They also have antioxidants which help the body. Potatoes are an insoluble fiber which helps feed the gut microbiome. All these foods help my body be the best it can be. The meal I created conforms to the fame plate because I have 50% non-starchy vegetables, 25% starchy vegetables, and 25% protein. I honestly really enjoyed cooking this meal because it was really easy. I just threw it in my Ninja Food Air Pot thing and put it on roast for the veggies. And then the quinoa only took 20 minutes to make on the stove. So it was really easy to do, especially since I've worked all day today. And it was really easy to kind of put it together and eat it. And it is really good right now. And my, my boyfriend is currently eating it. And he says that it's very good. 
Um, I've never cooked quinoa before, so it was very interesting to cook it, and it came out a little overcooked, so that is something that I will have to keep working on. And I really enjoyed this meal, and it's something that I would eat again. Thank you.